Not everyone can go D1 out of high school, but that's where intramurals come into play for UTA students. This past Monday, the intramural flag football playoff games had a little twist in their tournament brackets. Oh! Let's go! Let's go, Ben! Let's go! Let's go! Many UTA students used to catch touchdowns under their own Friday night lights. But this past Monday, those glory days were resurrected at the Allen Sachs intramural fields. Because of the rain from the past week, all flag football playoff games had to be played on one night. Assistant Director for Sports Programs Travis Langford had one word for how he thought the night went. It was entertaining, I guess you could say. It was the, the best word for it. You know, we you plan for something and then the rain kind of shuts you down and we got we to gotta accommodate as best we can. This one night playoff bracket hasn't been executed within the last 10 years at UTA. Between residence halls, fraternities, sororities, or just regular students, 32 teams were playing in their respective divisions, competing for 100 free wings and a shirt to cement their names in intramural history. As far as like a program, that's the first time we had something that big since I've been here for like three years, uh, that big in one night. It pushed our limits of what we're able to do as a program, which was good. It, it helped us kind of learn a little bit about ourselves. The students playing on multiple teams rolled the dice on sleep or study as the games lasted from 7 p.m. to 1 a.m. Personally, I don't like playing that many games on one night. It's just, it's hectic, but I get why you do it as far as getting it over with. Th those that had to play four or five games, um, I think they kind of felt it and they're probably feeling a little bit this morning. Man, I woke up sore, hurting. Like, it felt like playing high school football again. Even with the morning bumps and bruises, some students would press rewind and play the games all in one night again. I think we could look more into it in the future, you know, like doing one big night where uh, you pretty much see who's the best of the best. I would do it because at the end of the day, it, it's intramural sports. Like, it's, it can only be so daunting, I feel. Corey Mose, UTA News.